Hey guys, James N eighty five three two here. Um, today. Okay, um, it's been a while, uh, two weeks, and maybe even a month since Christmas. This is my last proper video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. By the way, it was my first story in six months. Yeah, I enjoyed making it, editing it was cool. Um, yeah. So. Today, I don't have anything really new for you guys, but I, 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 I have a lot coming. I prom, I promise, don't, don't, don't un, don't unsub. Before I get to the stuff I actually do have planned. Ooh, oh, jeez, we're at 500 subscribers. Can you believe that? Yeah, me neither. Man, that's awesome. Thank you guys so much for liking the content, watching it. Watching it especially. I have a lot of views. That's cool. Subscribing, though. With the more subscribers we get, the more aware people are going to be of the content. And as many of you have put in the comments, this content is rather good. Good is the word. So, um, thank you. Thank you very much. Um... Please share. I think sharing helps. Yeah. But, thank you guys. Again, one more time, thank you. Okay. Now. 2022. Oh, Happy New Year, of course. Happy New Year. To all. Um, 2022 is going to be... Potentially an interesting year. I am hoping to get a series going. I have many series ideas, and I have many models for series, you know, series I could do. Um, as you know, I've been numbering engines, such as Rosie back there, number 12. Yeah, so obviously I have some sort of plan, right? In my AU. You guys probably want to see my AU. And you eventually will. I don't know if it'll be this year, maybe even next year. Um, I got a lot of plans. I've written a lot of stories. A lot of them in the early days of Sodor. The reason you haven't seen any of those stories I've written is because, well, simple answer, I... Okay, I'll write a story, and I'll be jazzed about it. So, then, I'll write another story... And I'll be jazzed about that one instead of the other one. So I just won't feel like making the other one, because the other one, chronologically, comes first. And I won't feel like making the other one. And I could make an episode, episodic series where nothing is connected to anything except for the characters. But I don't like that. It's cool when the show did it. The show did it, it was, it was amazing. The Railway series was something else. Because stuff carried over from book to book. The threat of dieselization carried from the twin engines all the way through tramway engines. And even into Christopher's books. But that, that that's chronologically. And yeah, you can really adjust those. But when I make the series, I don't want... You guys to have to be analyzing it to figure out what time this takes place. That seems overkill for me. I don't know what you guys think, but yeah. So I'll be I'll write a story, and then I'm jazzed about that one. Get a different one. I'm jazzed about that one, and I don't want, like the other one. But you will see more. I promise. The idea for um, I've had a few ideas. Where I could do railway series style books. Where I do uh, part one which is making like four stories. Part one, part two, part three, part four. And then combine them all together to make like a mini movie. To like that would be like season one. And then I'd make another four. One, two, three, four. Plan them all together. Season two. I think that's really efficient. Just how that works would work well. 
but I'm not 100% sure about it. Because the time period I want to write for is always changing. <laughs> like, one day I want to do an early story, w way before Thomas arrived. I want to do one about building the railways. I want to focus on the Sodor and Mainland Railway. <laughs> I want to do, then the next day I'll be, ooh, you know what's really cool? Diesels. So I'll jump to the 60s and then I'll be like, Ugh, but it, all this is too dark. This is too chronologicalized. And then I'll do something in the 30s where it's really adjustable. And it just keeps bouncing back and forth. So I'm not quite sure how I want to do that. But I swear you m will see another story. Whether it is part of a series or a standalone thing. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I could do main series of rally series style episode combinations, but then also do um, standalone stories that can take place whenever, wherever, in the actual Thomas timeline that isn't canon to this other series, which is the main thing. But then I could do standalones too. Do you understand what I'm saying here? I hope you do. Um. Another thing I wanted to do is, I tried this last year, where I went through, I reviewed, like, season one, and that, that review kind of sucks, so I've wanted to try redoing it, but I didn't just want to go through every season of Thomas, like everyone has before, um, I wanted to go through every, <laughs> everything, um, Thomas, not just season by season, video by video. I wanted to tackle it in, like, chunks. Like, the classic era I'd tackle it in. The Miller era, the Hit era, the Brenner era. And I would sort of cover my gripes and particular episodes that stood out to me on the top of my head. And, like that. Like, overall general era reviews. And then at the end, I would do which era was best. And... You understand what I'm saying here. I wanted to cover everything. Give my thoughts about the show. This would include All Engines Go, which I also did want to do a review for. That wouldn't be part of the major um, reviews. Review series where I review eras. It would be its own separate thing. Where I go really in depth in. And then I also wanted to do a Tugs review. I, I wanted to do it well before um, the Unlucky Tug released his video. But I didn't want to seem like a copycat like everyone else was. Like, Tugs is having a massive resurgence in the fandom. Before it was like, oh, yeah, Tugs, I remember Tugs. But now it's like this thing where people are mentioning it with, like, among the times of classic Thomas. Which is really cool to me. How much new Tugs content has been released. Yeah. Another thing I wanted to do, aside from reviews in the main series, is sort of the best of, or like, engine part two books. Because, here's the thing, I've delved into the psychology of a lot of engines, and I sort of want to put that in like story form. Like James here, um... I wanted to speak about him, because I think... I'm going to let you in on a little secret here. I don't think James is actually this arrogant. I think he's just putting up walls or... I don't know, a different perspective for everyone to see and view. I wanted to do something like that. Or where James is, like, so overly um, arrogant that... Everybody, like, abandons him and sort of put James in this really sad depression where we actually get to see his true colors. I wanted to do, basically, his season one arc expand on his, um, ego, and then I want to destroy his ego. Um, because I think that would be a really good story, especially as the later years come around, like in the 60s or 70s. This wouldn't be canon to the main series, but I could see engines like Edward 
and like James Gordon and Henry retiring in the 60s just because of the workload and top of wood switch to diesels. This wouldn't be um, a major thing. It would just be its own side thing. At the moment, that's the idea. And I've really wanted to do that, but I'm struggling to put all that into story form. Yeah. So, that's sort of the idea. Custom showcases will still probably be a very regular thing. I have made a few new ones since... Well, who am I kidding? Not a few. A ton of new ones since... Daisy, was it? Who was shown off? No, you guys haven't seen Daisy, I don't think. Well, you will. Now you know she exists. Um, yeah. Another thing I wanted to do was sort of my own series apart from Thomas. Because I've had a few ideas. Not just with Tug series, which you'll probably get something out of that coming soon. But I've had ideas for other series and the models for the engines at least are basically done they just I've written scripts for it and I'm I like the scripts I'm not more jazzed about this episode than that episode it's pretty evenly I like it I'm just I don't want to push this more than the Thomas stuff but I also don't want to have that as like a oh yeah he does that too like, as like a side thing? No, I want to be like, okay, here are the two series you can watch, but also there's this other thing you can watch. Oh, also custom showcases. I want to expand the content of the channel, because for the past few months of 2021 and early 2021, it was mostly just custom showcases. And, I don't get me wrong, custom showcases are good videos, because my customs get better and better, but I don't like how repetitive they are, and they feel very, what's the word, um, unoriginal, because everybody shows off their customs, it's sort of an essential. Granted, my customs are sort of, okay, here's, you know, a lot less scripted than others, and there's little to no editing. Yeah, I also wanted to do a tutorial on how to make um, a cardboard engine. Someone like Boko here. Not like Boko, because this is a very easy thing to make. Something a little bit more complicated. How can I make something like James out of cardboard? Because I got a comment on it, and it's been in the back of my mind for a long time now. I should make a tutorial. I did the how to make a tugboat tutorial. Which I should really update because these guys have improved a lot. But I never did a how to make an engine tutorial. And engines are sort of my thing. So I should. Um, yeah. At the moment, that's really all I have for content. Is a combination of stories. Custom showcases. Reviews. Delving into psychology. A side series. Or not a side series. A second series. Yeah. I'm for I don't really have anything super original. Um it it sounds like I'm copying everyone else's when I say that, but these are sort of my own not sort of. They are my own ideas. I'm not trying to copy anyone or be like someone else. But I do I take inspiration from the fandom. That's sort of what you do, you know? That Valgear test video you've seen a while ago, like in late November, I think it was? Yeah, that engine's done. He turned out great. Um, you'll see him soon enough. Probably the first custom showcase of 2022. Yeah. That's all I really got for you guys at the moment. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are semi-excited for the content you're going to see this year, as there's quite a ton coming to you. Granted, for a while I won't be uploading as consistently as I did for the last half of 2021, because um, I'm in school, 
and I'm getting older, so I'm going to have to be a little bit more responsible. And more responsibility means less time to make videos for you guys. Don't worry, you'll still get stuff. I promise you this, I'm always working on something behind the scenes. Even if it's not uploaded until three months after I began it. A lot of these customs that you see were, took a while to do. Like Bill and Ben over there? In the way back? You can't see them. Barely, just above James's tender. They took three months. I worked on them from August till whenever I showed them off. Um, yeah. There's a little sneak peek for customs. Aside from the daisy reveal that I accidentally did. Or didn't do. I don't quite remember. Um, Thomas and Percy have been both been updated. And I think this will be their final form. Yeah. Okay. I think that's all I have at the moment. Double checking. Looking around. Making sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I have. Um, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys are excited. And I will see you in the second video of 2022. See you guys.